hello, hello. It's me again, the Metaverse Explorer, and I'm back on the 31st of July here to update you on what's happening in crypto because when you go to sleep and wake up, a whole bunch of stuff happens in crypto. So we start with the markets today. BTC is down uh, just about 1%, to be honest, and it's uh, hovering around the uh, 36%, 39% uh, dominance uh, uh, range. But I want you guys to realize, right, and don't just look at the markets every single day. You need to look at it from a seven day, like a month, and then even a year time frame, right? Because that's, that's what we're here for. Even if you look at BTC in the seven the last seven days, we're up 5.34%, okay, 5.38%. And nearly everything is everything else is up, to be honest. Okay, so don't just look at the daily charts, look at all the other um, charts combined. Let's look at Airtable. Let's see who has actually raised some funds today. We have Center has raised $11 million. Atato has raised $6 million. Uh, Re NFT Strategy has raised $5 million. And NASA Academy has raised $12 million. I'm not sure if you guys know, but this guy is quite famous. He, he's like in the Dubai region. He's called Nas Daily. He does a, a kind of like um, one minute short videos um, that are either educational or entertainment or like just uh, um, kind of uh, kind of just like shock, not shock, but like, oh, yeah, cool. That looks really cool. Um, and funny enough, he has been sponsored by FTX. So I have no idea why FTX, a crypto exchange, is going on to do um, um, kind of, a, um, how should I say, entertainment. Um, or like a content creation entertainment. Of course, this is NASA Academy, which is like a, a content creator uh, a platform where people can sign up, learn courses, know, learn how to be a Discord uh, moderator or learn how to create create content in general. So it's pretty cool, right? Pretty, pretty cool. Um, and his name is uh, Nusair Yassin, Nusair. Um, apart from that, I also saw one more thing that I'm really interested in is Unstoppable Domains. They raised $65 million uh, led by uh, Pantera Capital and Mayfield. Now, Unstoppable Domains is like the second competitor to ENS. ENS is the uh, Ethereum name service, which basically you can have your own um, um, address, your own uh, human readable address um, on the Ethereum blockchain. And so you can send it to john.eth and of course that is your en oh, john.ens or something that's your ens do domain name right for unstoppable domains you can have lots of different ones you can have like john.crypto john.x john.nft um, and of course ens is for, uh, has been popular because they raised uh, they are uh, they release their own token unstoppable domains has not re uh, released their own token so people are kind of speculating that there might be an unstoppable domain token coming especially after you raise 65 million dollars that is a lot right all right, let's see uh, some news overnight, something I want to share with you guys. I'm going to keep the videos very short, only about 10 minutes each, right? Let's have a look at this uh, by uh, this uh, little video by K Money. Um, it's, it plays on the, uh, on the idea of uh, NFT projects that raise a shit ton of money from you, the investor, right? And then what do they end up doing? They probably end up giving you some merch drops. And sometimes you still have to pay for shipping for the merch. You still have to go and buy the merch or you have to use their token to buy it. Man, it's, it's like, it's really bullshit for me, to be honest, because I or you or anyone out there, we pay like lots of money for an NFT, mostly speculative, right? Yeah, mostly speculative. And then we get burnt when they start saying, oh, we're going to drop you some uh, socks or something. So let's watch this video. I love it. I love it. Yo, it's me, founder of the NFT you invested in. We have some exciting announcements to make for our holders. To everyone that bought our shitty JPEG for thousands of dollars, we finally got to one of the most important items in our roadmap. I'm talking merch. Look at that, merch. Now you'll all have the ability to wear some NFT merch around your city to ensure you'll die alone and never be held again. <laughs> the only thing you'll be holding other than our overpriced illiquid JPEG will be your very cheap to make cotton blended merchandise from our white label partners that print these pieces of shit for no more than three US dollars. And is there any better way to say thank you to all of our holders who have spent thousands of dollars on their NFTs than to ask them to spend hundreds of dollars on our merch? What the fuck? More merch? Oh my fucking God, I love merch. Look at this wristband, wag me. Yeah, so uh, of course this is the uh, this is this is what's happening in crypto and uh, uh, NFTs at the moment, right? A lot of them are doing merch drops, and merch drops are uh, quite 
frankly shit, you know. Um, it doesn't cost you much yourself for you to go like buy a normal sh shirt, uh, stick some stickers on it, and then call it an NFT shirt, or even print uh, something on a small T-shirt. It doesn't cost much at all, right? And then yeah, there's the second joke. This is the meta joke between Ethereum investors and Solana investors. So the merch drop has been happening on Ethereum for a long time now, right? People are sick of it on Ethereum. Solana is like a bit late to the Ethereum. Uh, Solana is a bit late to the NFT scene, but there's still lots of people that are only still starting their NFT journey. And so a merch drop is kind of new to them, right? And they're like, oh yeah, oh yeah. And this specific wristband that he's pointing to, this is by the OK Bears. And uh, yes, their PFP was shot up in price because there was lots of influencers that were shilling it. Um, and they are a brand project. Um, they don't really produce anything. They, there's, there's no utility. Uh, and I, I don't have an OK Bear myself, so I'm sure some of you guys in the viewership do. Are you going to fud me? No problem. But guys, it's a brand brands can change brands can die okay um and so what they first did was they first released like a, a bracelet just as the bear market was about to come and and then they'll say everyone's going to be okay uh, we're all okay bears um have a little wristband uh, wrist bracelet and uh people were happy with it I'm like oh man people bought the that jpeg for like twenty thousand dollars you know how many wristbands you can buy with that yeah it, it's just, i thought it was funny so i thought i'd share it with you guys all right Next thing I want to actually show you that I thought was really interesting was um, the amount of time that um, if you held Bitcoin, you would be in a profit. OK, and uh, this is quite this is can like this is using data, right? But some people would argue that, yes, you hold anything it will go up in price because inflation. Yes, yes, kind of, kind of. But it's better than holding cash. That's what I say, at least. So I just want to watch this and show you like, um, so every time you see a deep green, that's when every time you're in profit. If you see a deep red, that means every time you're in at a loss. OK, and then over time, you'll get to see that the amount of losses are really just start diminishing because over time, as more money gets printed, more money gets exchanged for Bitcoin. And it's just like number go up technology, as uh, Invest Answers says. Um, basically, like uh, the, you, you, the amount of time that you are in diminishing returns just goes low, like it's so low. Um, so let's go ahead and watch it here. So of course, uh, let me read you what. Uh, so of course, shout out to uh, Wicked Smart Bitcoin Infinity over twenty one million, and of course he's uh, referring to print infinite amount of money, and there's only twenty one million Bitcoin. So how much is one Bitcoin going to be worth if you print infinite amount of money? Um, let's go ahead and watch the entire thing for you, okay? So of course you start out in a red. This is like you're going by year by year, right? 2011, uh, and you see all, most of them are going into the reds, which is the um, which is the times that you're going to be at a loss. But over time, as the price of Bitcoin still goes and goes, the reds slowly start disappearing because the price of Bitcoin starts going up. And of course, you are no longer in a red. So technically, any time you bought Bitcoin, even like even now, um, you'd be 95 percent still in a profit if you bought it within the any time the last nine, nine years or something. Look at this. Look at this. All your reds are disappearing. All your reds are disappearing. Now, I take that time. I take this time right here. I'm going to stop it here. I take this time right here as what it felt like down here, okay? And sooner or later, this this red section is going to turn into this blue, uh, this green section. Um, sooner or later, it'll take maybe till the next BTC halvening until the Fed starts printing more money because they 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 pivoted too hard. They they say like, oh no, uh, we don't want a giant recession because the the <laughs> the election's coming up, so we're gonna have to print more money, stimulate the economy, and keep it going. All right, we're at the nine minute mark. I'm going to look at wrapping up. Um, so Bitcoin enters full accumulation season with shrimps and whales seizing their share of the pie. Shrimps and whales are, are the specific names given to BTC addresses, which hold like a, a specific amount of Bitcoin. I think shrimps is like, uh, I think 0 0.1 to 1 Bitcoin and whales are like 10 to 1,000 or 10,000, something like that. There's a specific uh, ratio, uh, specific uh, numbers that we give for these guys. Um, so Bitcoin has entered a full accumulation phase with investors bracing themselves to go all in. Um, I am definitely not going all in. I would say just DCA because it is the overall passive better strategy, right? You can still probably increase your earnings by not DCAing and timing, but hey, not everyone can time, okay? If you can do it yourself, well done. But not everyone, might, like myself. On-chain data indicates that the pure multiple and market value to realize value are some of the positive uh, for the assets bulls. 
Awesome. The asset shook off a massive dump by Tesla and trades comfortably over the 20,000 20, mark. Now think about this. Tesla is a giant company that had a shit ton of Bitcoin and they ended up liquidating all of it. Even if OTC didn't affect market price, but price is still above 20,000 regardless of what the, one of the biggest uh, forward thinking companies in the world is, is doing at the moment. So to me, it doesn't really matter. Now, I actually think uh, Elon Musk's social ranking within crypto has way declined now. Um, probably Michael Saylor is probably the person at the top. But I always say, right, uh, do not put people on a pedestal. They go to toilets just like we do every every night. Um, yeah, yeah, like, you know, you put people on a pedestal, they always just disappoint you. So just accumulate BTC. Don't worry about the noise, you know, as long as we know that the government keeps printing money, there's nowhere else but up. Number go up. Now, um, I'm going to talk about Ethereum Classic for a bit. 1.7 billion inflows Ethereum Classic market cap uh, into uh, Ethereum Classic market cap in a few weeks as ETC gains momentum. Now, this is the argument that where's, uh, as Ethereum is moving from proof of work, uh, proof of work to proof of stake, what are all those proof of work miners going to be doing, right? Then going to sell their uh, uh, cards, they're going to sell their equipment, maybe, maybe not. They might use their equipment to go and mine ETC, which is Ethereum Classic, which is actually the original Ethereum until it got hacked. And then people, everyone uh, moved over to the new Ethereum, which is what we use now. So people are speculating that a lot of mining power is going to go to Ethe Ethereum Classic. This has been a narrative that has been playing out for a long time now. And now is probably the cusp of it. When you see it happening in uh, the, the, the news, just like I'm covering it now, now is the time for you to be scaling out. Not scaling in, scaling out, getting out. Because other people have been waiting for this, right? Uh, Merge has been on ongoing news for a long time. All these speculators that were uh, doing this, you know, it's buy the rumor, sell the news, okay? This is basic what it is. All the time in crypto, this happens. So I, this is like no, no surprise to me at all. Look at this over here. This is the buy the rumor uh, spaces. And this is where you sell the news. Okay, this is where you sell the news right now. Do not be buying the news at the top here. This is the time that you needed to have been buying. And this is the time you need to be selling now. Okay, because guess what? People are not going to go over and use Ethereum Classic. There's barely any developers on there. Uh, all the market cap, all the giant protocols, everything you're going to use is on Ethereum and it's not on Ethereum Classic. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. That's been Metaverse Explorer. Thank you for dancing, Pepe, for dancing for us and keeping us entertained. I will see you very soon. This has been Metaverse Explorer. Ciao for now.